Good afternoon, beer buffs, and today I'm reviewing a cider from Shaxbury Cider called Sugar Shack. So let's get a sugar kick. Let's get a pour on. Mm -hmm. Chaps, Billy Pegs here down in Wolf Hardis Worry. And I ain't happy. I've been trimming the verges all day long when I get home and my scrump is gone out of the fridge. I know it is. It's Johnny Pegs. I ain't gonna be having words with Johnny Pegs when I get home because that's my scrumpy. And I've been busy all day long, so I'm going to have a chat with him. I love my scrumpy. Well, I hope you find your cider, um, Billy Pegs. Uh, sorry about that garbled uh, intro there. Wake up, boy. Wake up. But it's, um, it's a very brisk spring afternoon. 31 degrees Celsius, be buggered. So I'm ready for a cider, cider drinker. Um, it's too warm. I mean, there's a bit of breeze every now and again, but well, I suppose it's May. We have been lucky, we've had a lot of rain. Sorry, there's grass everywhere. I've got severe grass in my bloody shoe. So I'm kind of dealing with that. But anyway, let's get a pour on. Less of the whittle and get a pour on. Oh, jeez. I bite my nails terrible, so it's really hard for me to open these cans sometimes. There we go. But I got the Derby tap out for this little uh, treat. I won't lie, I'm a little worried because um, it's called Sugar Shack and I don't particularly like a really sugary beer. Uh, a really sugary cider, I should say. So, we shall see. As they say, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Literally, I haven't had dinner yet, so I haven't had my pudding. Um, if you don't eat your meat, you don't get your pudding. <laughs> but I will eat my meat, so I'm having the pudding first. Uh, yes, it's... there you go. Look at that, it's nice and clear. Um, oh, that's nice. A bit of a breeze coming through. Uh, and I thought the Derby tap was perfect for that, you know? A little, uh, there's the Derby Ram, if you've not seen it. That's off my late great uncle. 1982, this beer glass comes from. I thought I smashed it the other day. Luckily, it didn't fall. I had a beer glass fall from my cupboard and smash onto a plate, and the plate was shattered, and the glass was shattered. Luckily, it wasn't this bad boy. I'm keeping this at the back, I tell thee. I tell thee. But anyway, 5.5%, and it's, like I say, it's from Shaxbury Cider, who I've reviewed in the past. Hmm. It does, well, it's, it smells like cider, but it does smell kind of sugary. So let me just reiterate, it's um, Sugar Shack, but it's actually cider made with maple and vanilla. Looks very wintry, doesn't it though? It's like ciders for me are summery, but this is, but over here they are a bit wintry. You do get a lot of different ciders coming out in the winter. Look at all the snow, eh? It's the wrong time of year. Anyway, let me, um, cool artwork though. Let me have a taste. Do you know what? It is definitely not a sugar bomb as I was expecting. I was thinking something like Angry Orchard or um, Reds or one of these, you know, or like Golden Apple from, uh, um, what the, sorry, my mind's going. Again, Golden Apple from, uh, okay, pause. Golden Apple from <laughs> Strongbow. Sorry about that, I had a brain fart, so I just paused it to get my thoughts. And just so you know, that took me literally a second. So it wasn't like a minute in between. I'm not that bad yet. Um, so yeah, it's... Obviously there's a hint, there's a sweetness to it. But it kind of has a, it's almost like sweetness on the initial taste and has a, a more of a bitterness on the aftertaste. Actually, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. I was 
I wasn't, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't looking forward to that. Um, and a dryness to it. But yeah, it's um, adult dessert, apples plus maple. But okay, let me kind of try and delve into the maple and vanilla a little bit. I'm definitely picking up hints of vanilla, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm not very versed on maple. I know maple syrup's a big thing. Uh, but it's not something, I have them on pancakes, but I really have pancakes, so I can't really ascertain to be an expert on such. <laughs> but every spring in Vermont, hundreds of impossibly picturesque sugar shacks come to life to produce liquid gold maple syrup, hence the name. Okay, so we've harnessed this higgy, filled, higgy, filled, filled, sorry, a new word for me, Ritual to craft the Vermontiest dessert in a can a person could hope for. Cheers. And I did say dessert, didn't I, when I got into this? Well, I said pudding, which is the British equivalent of dessert. So there you go. Um, yeah, it's, and as I say, 5.5%. Pretty darn good, actually. Excuse me, I'm enjoying that. Uh, so yeah, um, where are these guys from? Um, Shaxbury Cider. Sorry, I'm just seeing a message. Oh yeah, okay. A message to get the chicken out from my good wife. By the way, my good wife did get this for me. Uh, this she picked it. I don't know. She a Trader Joe's, I think. So she always picks me these lovely little beers. Oh, so fair play. Cheers to my good wife there. Um, Shaxbury Cider. They're based in Virginis. I'm probably saying that all wrong. I do apologize. Virginis, Vermont, which is kind of the northeast area of the U.S. of A. On, on you know, the state of Vermont, that is. Um, so they're little gamfers. We make organic and complex ciders. Ciders. That are always pushing forward while never straying too far from the natural beauty of our home state which our home state is known for. So there you go. Um, I cannot recall what side I had of theirs before, but I've definitely reviewed one. So if you want to go through all my videos and find it, go ahead and leave a comment. But it's it's been a little while. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. It's nice to do another beer from them. And uh, she actually picked, like I say, they picked, she picks this up from Trader Joe's and they do have these kind of things there a lot, you know, and I do like, like you see my kind of Halloween ones. I do quite a few kind of pumpkin-y, cidery type beers from Trader Joe's. So they're very well known for that. Um, yeah, really good selection, actually. Fair play on Trader Joe's. Good selection of uh, different beers and they're always mixing it up. And the good thing there is you can buy just one can. A lot of places are doing that now, but you can like find a six pack and pull a can off it, which I like. Um, yeah, cool, cool idea. Anyway, yeah, this is this is easy drinking. You can see there's not much left, and um, I'm sweating conkers out here, so it's most refreshing. A few beers that they do before I uh, wrap this up. So. A beer, a few ciders, different ciders, because it's all ciders, obviously. They do a rosé cider, if you like a rosé wine, perhaps you'll enjoy that. Check that one out. They do a dry cider, which I do enjoy. Uh, they got a, a cider called the Vermonter, which is a herbed, spiced, hopped cider. So that sounds quite um, interesting. I've had hoppy ciders before, actually. Um, I don't know. I don't care for them too much. I think I'm trying to move away from hoppiness when I'm going for a cider, but that's just me. Um, but they also have one called Dias Shacks, which is a traditional apple wine. Ap ap apple wine, traditional cider. So there's a few for you to check out. And if you get to Trader Joe's or if you're in the Vermont area, go to the brewery. Excuse me. I did like their webpage cool little video um but yeah check them out um on the side of scale of things do you know what it's a good cider i definitely have a few more cans of this 
there's a nice dryness to it as well um yeah it's it's a it's a jolly good eight from me the texas taff for this uh little gem so uh cheers i will be back with you next week for something else again i'm kind of all over the place i was going abroad and then i went local and now i'm going further afield in the usa so who knows what will come up next week but we shall see but until then cheers and keep it crafty Ta-ra.